Well, we're back on the beach. The beach of the uh, buggered bait release clips. We're on the Holderness Coast in Yorkshire. I am running late, but I ain't running late. I'm doing well for time. It's just high tide is at two o'clock and for me to hit a two o'clock tide is hard work. So, um, yep, but we're here. Time is. 12.27, so I knew I'd be down there Brad Pass. I've got my rods are out, reels are on, rigs are on, and I'm gonna bait up. So, uh, hello Gordon, Jimmy, Andrew Jones, uh, Alan, hope you're feeling better soon. Whilst I bait these up, and everybody else, but we'll talk about it in a bit, I'm gonna put some bait on this, and while I'm doing that, we'll cut for the intro. the boat. Right, we'll get the second rod out and then I'll have a little chat with you. It'll be a blink of an eye for you. For me, it's a bloody eternity, but yeah. I've got a flapper rig on that one. Just gonna hoss it out. Um, well, off the ground cast it, and uh, hopefully we'll get some fish. We'll talk about that in a bit. Well, that's them two out. Uh, just had a chat with two people walking down the beach from uh, the caravan park. They're uh, having a nice day or a holiday. So uh, it's good that people enjoy themselves, isn't it? Nice and quiet as well. Right, I've got both baits out, squid on both. We'll start making some cocktails up soon. And then I shall put stuff away, get sorted. Got a, uh, looks like a ghillie mot in the water. Will I catch today? Well, who knows? Who knows? I'm here to catch. I ain't gonna catch on my sofa at home, Emma. Um, trying to bang some videos in now. I've got some houses coming up. And uh, yeah, so I decided to come today because today was the first day I could just about make the tide, which I have. It is 12.42 and high tide is at just gone two o'clock. So don't give me that long, but I'm fishing and we'll get a video out of it. 
and you never know i don't plan on ranting today i'll tell you how my day has gone up to now it's a bit comical but when i got to the top of the cliffs there's no color in the water we've got a tiny bit of color to about 70 yards that's it and then it starts lightening up and then it's green looks beautiful but it's green but chappy boy down there to my right has just pulled out a, ha a ray so i've come here today because it's flat calm it's about a 0.3 meter swell today should be good and uh, i weren't counting on the fact that the water was going to be really clear but i ain't going to have excuses because i've spoken to a couple of anglers now that have said they always catch when it's really clear and no color and then uh, most of the people say you want color so if a fish are there you'll catch basically won't you so if it's clear water no color in it the fish are there we're gonna catch he's just caught a ray now he might be an excellent fisherman better than me and that's why he's caught that ray i don't you know he might have different baits to me but time will tell and we will see positive thing is we're air fishing aren't we churning out another video for you lot thank you to all my subscribers i've got my 53 subscribers back now i think um much appreciated obviously the i've got no internet it's about there we might be one off or two off or we might be one or two past but for those that have joined the channel they obviously like the channel more than the 53 that lost so onwards and upwards now and i talk about my um subscribers losing them gaining them um just because it's on my mind so i talk about it if it's on my mind i will talk about it um i may hold it back for a bit you can't beat a man that holds it back for a bit and then lets it go but that's me that is me i can't say no more than that if it's on my mind what do you think i'm talking about if it's on my mind then eventually I'm going to say it. Tom might cut it out. <laughs> Depends what it is. But there you go. It's glorious being there. It's lovely and sunny. There's a bit of wind. It's meant to be coming over my head, but I think it twirls around over the cliffs. It feels like it's coming back in my face a little bit. I've done two good casts. They've gone straight out. Hopefully the days of a wayward cast. He's casting in the colour bit. I need to make a note of that but we will be getting the old sniper rod out in a minute we'll chuck that in close and see what we can get what else is to say well i'll talk about other stuff in a bit we've done the first two casts out we've got squid on both full squid on the panel rig on the left hand rod and on the right hand rig rod i've got a flapper rig two up flapper with uh squid on that just like the catch today um i ain't fussed if i don't now that's all gone now i knew i wouldn't get to um a year of catching it's just a hard thing to do and i had to go fishing for a video and that was the day i could only go on and it weren't good weather was it a matter of fact apart from the root fish and everything else and the root's still there i'll see if i can take it today only when i finished last time i was buggered my rubber's ripped on my reel, so I've got plenty of spares in my box. I shall change that. A glorious day. Can't beat it, can you? New tide per lever. My weights are sitting there, so I shall change the other one from a six to a five. We'll fish five ounce today. Might be able to punch it a bit further. But the seven ounces were going really well in the last time I was here. Anyhow, I'll bring you back. Once I've got the sniper rod put together, we'll chuck that out. See you in a bit. Well, that's uh, the sniper rod's out. Well, I don't know what to say. I don't know where to start. What am I going to do? God knows. God knows. Uh, oh, my bloody bag's blown away. Fuck. Damn. I knew it would happen. It's bloody hell. As if I need to walk over here. It's getting shoved in the bag. Jesus what that could have been disaster 
or whatever bag for sniper. I'd have the mate one. <sighs> well, that was tiring. Yeah, I didn't need to walk that far. The less I walk, the better, really. Be sat in my box in a minute. Yeah, well, let's get this put away. You might as well see. Watch me. This is how you put a rug bag away. Clothes are going to get sandy. Right, I've got a pocket in the bottom of this trident bag, and I shove them. Well, I tried to shove them in there. Just goes to show how strong the wind is, doesn't it? Bloody thing. And shoved in there. Next job will be. Oh, well, we got one rod out close. We got the old. We got the sniper in the muddy coloured stuff. Now wife got me that. Um, so I didn't have to put cream on my hands, get it on my hands to ruin my bait and wash my hands. Just spray it on. Seems to work, does a good job. She's not a bad old girl, is she? But don't tell the wife I said that, will you? She'll be there in a chair on a phone playing Candy Crush School. <laughs> like that evil woman on Get the Good Biscuits. Uh, anyhow, nah, she's not a bad old girl. I'd be lost without her. Won't be able to find anything. Plus I'd die of starvation. So, what have I got to talk about? Well, how's my day been? Well, um, toilets were buggered at work and uh, I got a plumber to come out. It's a plumber I use on my houses and the skull called him out. But the toilets, it had leaked and they, I don't think they were mopped the night before because it was throughout the toilets. It was only a small leak and uh, I mopped it all, he came and fixed it, to cut a long story short, but I kept trying to keep out of the water because my shoes, I like to get the monies out of them, and uh, yeah, th if I go in a puddle, they get wet. So you can imagine what happened, but I thought I was all right. So after mopping up these five toilets in uh, water, I then went and uh, I had to go to the toilet. You know what you do first thing in the morning. So I'm in the toilet and I'm thinking to myself, what's that water around my feet? Anyhow, because I'd shoes has got wet, it started coming out because my feet were on the floor and I had water all around my shoes. Well, where do your trousers go? Do you think about it? Yeah, they fall a bit on the floor, don't they? So all my trousers got wet with these shoes, which ex ex grewed, extruded that water, which I'd been stood in, which was, dirty water with piss in it and uh, I weren't happy so I had to come home um, shoes are gone in the bin now because I ain't wearing them no more because they are now infected and uh, yeah I had to jump in the shower clothes went in the washing machine wife's gonna wash them when she comes home she'll put it on um, I know it's a pink job but I can use the washing machine but you don't leave a washing machine on when you leave the house because a lot of fires start from washing machines, so you always use the washing machine when you're on the property. Bloody flies. So um, that's a top tip for you. Never leave the house with the washing machine on. So, where am I? Yeah, so I had to have a shower. So it put me behind. I was hoping to be out of my house by 10 o'clock, and because of that, yeah, dedication at work, that is. Because of that, I left my house at 10, 26. I then had to go get some diesel because Numpty Air didn't get diesel yesterday when he could have done. Plunker. So that's another 10 minutes. But I got here um, before 12 o'clock, about 10 to 12. So it wasn't a bad run really. I made, I was under the Humber Bridge on the Clive Sullivan Way within 45 minutes. So it was a good run through. So it wasn't a bad run, but that's what my day has been up to now, but 
when I come in and I'm rushing around trying to sort the cats out and I'm stripping off, putting it in the f washing machine, yeah, stuff went wrong in the kitchen and all the pots and pans remarkably just flew across the kitchen and on the floor and in the sink. Um, I've picked them up as best I can to hide it so that it didn't look as though nothing like that happened, but I think the my wife might think, what on earth happened there? But yeah, that's the way it go, isn't it? You can't, you can't, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? So I had a little mini meltdown at them. But that's because I'm rushing around because I want them to get out early, because it normally takes me till 11 o'clock. But I was quite chuffed. Could have been out by quarter past 10, I reckon. So that's something new to have in me, uh, in me head, so I can get out earlier. Um, and I fed the chicken. Chicken's doing great. She's, all her feathers are growing back. She's up like this, walking around. You can't catch her. And uh, she'd probably do a treatment tonight. If I don't do it tonight, I'll debt all over again tomorrow. So we just keep putting the debt all on just to keep everything going all right. But, but it's been two weeks now two and a half weeks she's doing fine brilliant in fact chuffed to bits i am well it'll be a third weekend this weekend today is wednesday no today is thursday don't I get caught out lying do i thursday the 13th of july it is 104 i've got an hour before high water and then i'm fishing down so it's one of them sessions that has been i've just had to get here if it's a three o'clock tide, I can get there and uh, have three or four hours before high water, and it's always better for me. But it's just the way it is, isn't it? It's you, that's all you can do. So that's been my day up to now, and now I'm fishing on the beach. How lucky am I to be in weather like this on this beach? I mean, it is absolutely glorious. We've got two more fishermen turned up down there. We'll call them Jim and Jim. One's got waders on, Jim Wader, and the other one's Jim, Jim, Jim Jeans. And then we've got Albert down the bottom. God knows what his real name is, but we'll call him Albert. And up there, yeah, the chap that's called, caught a Ray, I think we'll call him Ray. So yeah, so there's four other people on the beach, plus me. There's been two walkers coming from saint le -Mer. Had a nice chat with them, it was lovely. And uh, always good to have a chat. All lines are tight, clickers are on, come on the hounds, that's what I say. We've got two boots, we've got a rubberized dinghy out there. Some people would call it a sib, but it's a dinghy, isn't it? And uh, a small boot, so there must be two hounds out there. So hopefully they're in there. If they're catching them out there, not in the uh, muddy water, then uh, surely we can. But I ain't bothered about that, that's gone now. I'll catch when I catch. Yeah, um, the only reason I go on about subs is I find it comical. I find it comical. Um, I ain't bothered about sub. The only thing that bothers, the only thing about subs is you need to keep getting new ones all the time because people drop off or stop watching, you know. So if you don't keep picking up new subs, um, might slow up a bit, but my views haven't slowed up. My views are getting better. My, um, sorry for those that don't like this sort of chat, but um, it's just, it's in, in my mind, you see. Got to talk about it. And uh, just looking at the tips then. Got to keep an eye on your tips. You want them tips banging away, don't you? So the more banging away they are, the more fun we're having, aren't we? Fishing wise fishing anyhow yeah i looked at my algorithm and my average watch hours has gone up from 28 minutes it was 27 summer 28 minutes to 35 minutes so i'm chuffed with that so people are watching longer and that's what i'm interested in really but i just, it's the the thing with the subs is the more subs you get obviously the more successful you are and it's always nice being successful it's like doing a welding job or a house job or any job and you do it well, you take pride in it, don't you? you uh, it pleases you and it gives you a lot of satisfaction is the word. Satisfaction. And that's what it's about. 
don't mean to don't get upset if i talk about it it's just the way it is and they are, that's enough of that i ain't talking about that no more it's absolutely beautiful here i'm so happy because it's blue skies and clouds look i don't know what them clouds are they can bugger off them gray ones but look at that here's the rod tips are they moving no absolutely fantastic and the wind's blowing from over the cliffs but it does swirl around the cliffs i've noticed that since last year uh hope you get better soon alan it'd be nice to talk to you mate it would be nice to talk to you but i understand that we are coughing you got a sore sore throat and it's hard work to talk my fruit's now going dry and sore now because i ain't shut up i've just been on it on it on it but there you go that's what norfolk lads are like well the ones that moved out of norfolk do you know what i mean <laughs> uh, i don't know if that's a good thing or not moving out of norfolk i'd never move back it's always nice to visit get your four ice creams yeah i told the nurse today when i had my blood test and that uh yeah yeah i'm cutting down on sugar I had four ice creams two weekends ago well it'll be two weekends ago in two days time but yeah i'm just pleased to be here yeah i am fortunate to be here i do appreciate being there it's absolutely glorious in the sunlight being there as well and uh possibility and chance of catching a fish you can't want much more than that can you Catching's a bonus. I would like to catch. It does make the journey a bit more palatable. Um, but yeah, you've got to thank your lucky stars. It's a sad day when you can't come here. Or when I, when I can't come here. So for those in there, my subscribers that don't get out much or can't get out much. Um, watch this video. Hope it helps. If it don't. Well, it should help, shouldn't it? It'll be a sad day when I can't go fishing. And uh, I ain't getting into it, but it'll either be when them pillocks of a bloody MPs do net zero and take away my ability of owning a car. And then I am stuck. And then the only fishing I'll get will be freshwater fishing and then I'd have to push bike it what a bloody thing that'll be I'd hate to be being born now I ain't getting into that might do later on depends where my mind go I ain't crackers you know I'm not a madman like I ain't mad and crackers and 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 up there you know I ain't none of that it's just when you're sat on a beach and you start thinking about this that and the other from A to Z get off fly A to Z um, your mind starts rolling, doesn't it? And then you'll start thinking about something that'll wind you up and then you're off on it, aren't you? Running with it all the way. So I'm going to keep watching these rods. It's enough of me. And uh, you can watch them as well, couldn't you? I suppose. But yeah, what a glorious day, isn't it? At least the water's calm. Not much colour though. That's because them that water in it and them cliffs. I wish it was. Well, gonna have to sack the wife. She's done me cheese sandwich pickling, but she's good. But in brown bread. What's she bought brown bread for? We've had white for weeks now. I thought I'd converted her, but she's gone back on her healthy thing. Oh, I like brown bread because it's tasty. Well, just tastes like bloody cardboard. I mean, it was all right, but it's just, it's not soft, soft, is it? You know, you can't beat a soft bit of bread sandwich, can you? Well, it'd be the worst thing to do to bacon as well, putting it in that. But there. I might give her a reprieve, like, because I think we've got cheese on toast for tea, hopefully. I expect they'll come home and she'll add McDonald's. 
But there, I might get McDonald's on the way home. It depends how hungry I am. See, if I'm really hungry after fishing, um, and I mean really hungry, like wasting away, um, <clears throat> I'll call into McDonald's on the way home. If I'm not quite so hungry and I can make it home, what I tend to do, if there's a large queue in McDonald's, I'll just drive past. But I have to be hungry to go into there because it's always a bloody queue. And we've got past the thick shake. I went in Hull, if you call it a thick shake, they have to correct you. They feel like they have to correct you and call it a milkshake. Now, even though it's called a milkshake, when it comes up on the board. I've never known a milkshake to be that thick that if you took the lid off and turned upside down, it probably wouldn't come out. The, you, it takes, you have to have two straws with a thick shake from McDonald's because by the time you get halfway through it, the straw's disintegrated. Go to Norfolk, call it a thick shake. They say, yep, anything else, sir? Do you want to go large? Mind you, not even that happens now, does it, in McDonald's. You have to say to them, are we going large then or what? Does me in that. When you first got McDonald's, when I first got it in the 80s, it was uh, set questions. Yeah, what would you like with that, sir? Right, would you like to go large? Yeah, what, what drink would you like with that? They still do all that, but a lot of the time now, they never say when you say I'll have a Big Mac meal, yeah, what drink would you like with that? Uh, well, should we go large first before you type all these things in and have to alter them? No, you have to tell them yourself now. Nothing on these rods. Nothing on these rods. But you never know. You never know your luck. Could go off in a second, couldn't it? I could have Moby Dick on it. I hope I have a sandwich. I've got one more sandwich. I hope that's why. I've drunk one bottle of water already, which is 500 mil. I've got a litre and a half bottle with me. So I shall top that up and then drink out of it. The good thing about today is because it's quite a low tide, five metre. Um, shouldn't go out so far either. I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on. I don't believe it. Oh, I've got them. Thank God for that. I didn't think they were in it. I picked the case up and thought the case don't feel heavy. But then they don't weigh now, anyhow. Now I've got something in my eye. Bloody hell, it always happens to me, doesn't it? Well, they aren't moving much, are they? Clouds are moving more than my rods. There's some wonderful clouds there. Look at them clouds. Look at them. Look at them up there. They're absolutely fantastic. I'm tapping the back of the camera. I can't see it because I've got my sunglasses on again. Got to start remembering that. Got all seagulls out there now in the bluey green water. So... Might be some fish out there. Them two boats are gone. They've gone steaming down that way towards Wiv. Left you up there a bit too long, didn't I?
Oh, it's glorious. I'm sat here on my box, legs out. Woohoo! See? Lent back. The only problem is if I pick my feet up, I'll fall on my box. I thought it'd be on fire today with the water being like this. I'm gonna make a couple of baits up. I'm gonna do prawn and squid to start, and then I'll do crab. That line's a bit loose, my right hand rod straighter than the left hand and the line is moving about in the wind that's the flapper rig as well probably missed the bite and wind's blowing into my face now as well but like a fart in a thunderstorm, isn't it? Bloody wind. Don't know what it's doing. Well, them two fishermen down to my left are now reeling in, so I expect they've already caught. Unless he's just checking his bait. I think I might tighten up on that line on the right hand rod, make the two baits up, get myself prepped. I ain't got long to fish, so I've got to make the most of it. Oh, there's weave. I don't know if he's got a fish or whether it's just weed. Bloody hell, I didn't think there'd be any weed today. No, it can't be a fish because he ain't run down to his rig. That's a bit of a cock womble then, isn't it, eh? That's not good, is it? Bloody weed. Well, I don't know if I've got it, but he's got it. Ah, that's be what's wrong with that rod there, wouldn't it? I'll tighten up on it, get these two baits done. Cut some squid up for my flapper. Well, I'll cut some flaps of squid. Just setting this camera up. Battery's nearly out. Right, just gonna reel this little rod in. We got weed on it, so the big rods are going to get covered in weed, aren't they? I'll bring it back when I'm ready. It's a little bit further out that time.
It's a little bit further out. We'll uh, got squid on that. Two flaps of squid on the flapper rig. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happened. I might have to ring the bring the big rod in. Well, either of them. I'll do it in a minute. I've made another bait up. I need to cut up some more bait ready for my flapper rig on the big rod. Uh, can't remember what hooks I've got on that. I think I might have small hooks. Just want to catch some at first, really. Do want to try and catch, you know what I mean? Because uh sun's gone in. Cool. It was that bright. Even I was thinking, Jesus, I'm squinting really bad. Because I think I because I've been using these a bit. Um you get used to wearing them, don't you? And then if you ain't got them on. Yeah, but the sun's gone behind the cloud now, so it's gone a bit cooler, which is nice. Well, everybody seemed to enjoy my rant over the uh, Trident Tackle release clip. And by now, you'd have seen me at the river with the breakaway imp that didn't release. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I think the problem with that one was my uh, I tightened my springs up on my SRT springs on the rig. And I think it was pulling really tight on the clip. So when it hit the water, it didn't release. So I think that one was my problem, but that's all three clips now, isn't it? Buggered me up, but at least that one weren't a blank. When it happened, I just thought to myself, I'm not even going there because from the rent last time, I think I ain't, my heart was still was still going. I don't think I'd got over it. I thought not again. Different clip as well. That's all three clips now, but I think that one was my fault. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna have to change this battery before it die. I can't see nothing can't see anything on this uh, with my sunglasses on in the back of the camera Right, well, I was in the garage because I finished my uh, a friend of mine's, well, more of a friend of Mike's really, but um, it's probably the wrong thing to say really. He's an acquaintance, he's someone that, I'm, I've done a rod for another friend basically, who I've met through Mike. And uh, you'll probably see me fishing with him again. If you go back to my Easington video, long while ago, I was fishing with Steve then. But I finished a fishing rod for him. And uh, I was telling him about it in the garage and I thought, I'm gonna do an old a video with old fishing rods. And uh, so I was hunting around, found the fishing rod, which my mum bought me. Um, and it's an East Anglian rod, which is the company name. They were one of the biggest rod builders in the world back in the 70s, 60s and 70s. And um, isn't it amazing how these big, rod companies got bought out for another rod company. It's amazing, isn't it? How does that work out? Anyhow, I found my mum's rod. I'd put it away somewhere safe. And I thought, right, I'm gonna do a video with that. And then I looked for another fiberglass rod. I've got one that needs tartan up, one that needs repair, and that'll be all right, just one eye. And I've got another one which needs tartan up. But I was like thinking, well, I ain't gonna be able to get it done in time for when I want to do it. And I thought, what's in that rod bag there? So I picked the rod bag up. This is exciting stuff, isn't it? I picked the rod bag up and opened it up and there it is. A beautiful East Anglian rod called a Green King. Green cast. Now all mine are King casts, but this one's called a Green cast and obviously it's green. Well, I looked at it and I thought, there's got to be something wrong with it and there's nothing wrong with it. It is immaculate. Even the chrome reel seat is like brand new. And I thought, there you go. Fix the other rod, which my mum bought, in a more leisurely pace and use the green cast. So you will be seeing, this is a uh, 
just a little notice to keep an eye out because there'll be a video coming up soon with me using old equipment and uh, I look forward to doing that I've only done it once before I've used another rod last year my auger rod but it's going to be East Anglian Rod Company all the way in the in the video coming up soon and I'm looking forward to it just got to go up in the loft and see if I can find another old reel because I think my old reel that my mum bought me is up there and I'd love to take it so that I'm fishing for my mum's rod, my mum's reel that she bought me and I've got a duplicate, it may be a four or a three but it'll just be a little bit different in size exactly the same reel, I bought it off eBay to put on the other rod so it's going to be antiquated farmyard machinery on a fishing rod basically which will be as bendy as anything but I'm looking forward to it I really am so a bit different if it don't mean much to um, people watching it it'll just make a change for me I've made the rod bag for my sandstorm Daiwa sandstorm rod that I bought so I've now got two sandstorm rods in two bags so you will be seeing me using my 12 foot Daiwa sandstorms and I think they'll cast that a long way as well if you can bend it you'll send it anyhow don't forget to check out Danny fishing he's changed his bloody title on his channel now because it's he's doing freshwater stuff as well so go check out Danny fishing Alan's castaways um, he's not well at the minute um, if you can go along on some of his old videos or just drop him a comment in his community page or whatever it is and uh, give him some love that'd be great bless him he just can't stop coughing and he's sick of it he's not getting sleep so I hope you feel better soon Alan um, got me old mate Andrew in Wales dedicated watches my videos and comments all the way through thank you very much Andrew and I think Jimmy, the man that looks after me with fishing rods, I think Jimmy's on holiday because I ain't heard from him, which means he's on holiday again. So he'll be drinking whiskey somewhere around the world, but he'll definitely be drinking whiskey and coke or having a cider. cider. Did you hear that? Somewhere around the world. <laughs> but yeah. Thanks to all subscribers, especially the 53 that have signed up. I would say I've lost more than 53 because they, they've been going up and down, up and down. But thank you to everyone that's rejoined. We're onwards and upwards now. And thanks to all my old subscribers, to everyone that watch and don't comment, watches and comments, or just watch for two minutes and maybe comment. I don't know. I think that's covered everything, hasn't it? But yeah, it means a lot. Keeps me going fishing, actually. What were you lot commenting? You lot. You know what I'm like. Were you lot commenting? And uh, some of the comments where people can't get out and watch my videos. And uh, hope you're all right as well, Alice. Really do. That was a bit, bit, I'm not going to say it. That was a bit, bit, bit of a wrong one, wasn't it? That weren't right either, was it? Don't like putting thumbs up, it's a bit it's a bit stupid, isn't it? But yeah, no, I hope everything's alright, Alice. These rods aren't moving. They just aren't bloody moving, look. I'm moving you more than the rods are moving. We've baited up the sniper rod again. We've pulled in the prawn. I've chucked the prawn as well underneath my bait bag because the flies round my bait bag. They can smell death anywhere, can't they, a fly? So I've chucked the prawn on the sand underneath my bait bag, hoping that as that starts to stink, the uh, flies will go on that and stay away from my bait bag. Method in my madness. Cool, let's get a fish, come on. Not caught in a clear sport. Well, I have, I caught a flounder once. That'll do me today, a flounder. Lovely little dab. Oh, I won't mind a little dab. Bit late in the season for a rockland, innit? Not ever caught a gurnard either. I think you get them on these this coast. 
You don't get place though. I've never seen a place. You definitely don't get place on the Lincolnshire coast. Flounders and dabs. So I've cast the sniper rod out a little bit further now. First cast was probably 20 yards. That one's probably 35, 40 yards. I might get another pulley panel rig out and cut up my fish bait that I've brought. Oh, the rod moved. I thought it... And uh, stick that out because matey boy up there is called a, caught a ray. So there must be about. I think the next time I come on this coast, well, it might not be the next time. Um, I could have gone somewhere else on this tide. And that would have been quite good. But the next time it's a five meter tide, five two, I'm gonna go to that mark, different mark. But I came here today. It's not such a long walk from the van to here. The get down's a bit easier. So I've decided to come back here again. It's as good as any. It's the same as everywhere else. You've got cliffs behind and water in front. So you ain't gonna see anything different anywhere else. You're looking at the sea, I'm on the beach. Hopefully we'll catch some different species of fish than the river. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. What's the time? Time is, sit rep, sit rep. 13.54, it is nearly high water. All right, let's get this left hand rod reeled in. Get a fresh bait on. Just got weed on that, I'll get it pulled off and then uh, the weed. God, you lot are dirty minded, aren't you? I don't know. I'll get this pulled off, super quick time. Um, and get it rebated up, send it back out. See you then.
That went out all right. Certainly going far enough to catch a fish. There you go. There's how much I got left on that. Didn't put no effort into it. I just put it on the floor and casted. It's got a breakaway imp on it. Never come unhooked. When you put a breakaway imp on the floor, you just got to keep it taut. And uh, yeah, it don't come undone. So that's out. Next rod I'll bring in will be the flapper rig, but I'll make another bait up for a pulley rig and I'll probably get another pulley out with a weight on and have it on the stand and then when I bring that in I'll bait it up that new rig um, I'll bait it up before I bring the other one in he's just reeled in down there Ray and uh, he ain't got any more rays on he's just got weed so yeah what I say is I'll then make a bait up bait up the rig that I've got hanging on my tripod, bring the rod in, swap the rigs, cast out, clean the next rig and leave it there ready. But I'll make a bait up and leave it in my cool bag because it's so hot, flies will go on it. And the bait will just cook in this heat. That's why you need a bait bag. Just so you can keep your bait as fresh as possible. No point cooking it in this sunlight because it does cook it and uh, it goes all dry. And then when you put it out in the water, how long is that going to last? There ain't going to be much smell or um, scent coming off that bait, is there? So I was quite chuffed. There's a bit of weed on it. Um, it's red, slimy weed. Normally the red weed just comes off, but it just feels slimy. It's ever so hard to get off. Well, it isn't hard to get off. It's just when you touch it, it's. Yeah. And you've got to get hold of it properly. But it comes off. It's not like May rot. You could have 20 metres of May rot and pulling your hair out. But as of yet, nothing. And when I got to the top of the cliff, I thought, well, you've got to give it a shot burning, haven't you? Because the one thing you can't do, you can pick the weather. Yeah, you can pick your day for the weather. You can also pick the tide, height and the swell. But the one thing you can't pick is whether it's got colour in the water. So you have to look on Facebook, which I don't do a lot of. I am on Facebook. I do do a bit on Facebook, but not a lot anymore. Uh, I've got a group on Facebook if you want to join, but you can talk amongst yourselves and whatever, and I'll post occasionally or but yeah, I did think when I got to them cliffs, it's going to be hard. Another hard session there. So I'll keep an eye on Facebook on some of the groups that fish off this coast and see if they ever mention the colour. And if, it, if they, people talk about there's no colour in the water, then I'm afraid it's come here at night time with bloody lights. But this winter really took it out of me. Um, if you go watch my videos, you'll see that I was like champion cod catcher for a while. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't help it. I am what I am, isn't I? you know, just champion. But it really took it out of me in the dark, cold lights. And up until now, I just don't want to fish at night time. Once it starts going dusky, I'm going um because I've done too much of it. It is hard, or it puts another, it's not hard filming at night with lights. Anyone that says it is, is, you can use the word hard. I just, I just think it's just something else to do. And it's another chore. And at night time in the winter and you're cold, but it's what you got to do, isn't it? If you don't do that in winter time, you don't do any fishing videos, do you? So there you go. Let's hope we get a bite on that rod, eh? I 
I've seen one fish come out and that was early on. This is the second time I've been on this spot on the beach. I've dropped my glasses now. And uh, it's not looking good, is it? I think I fished further to the right when I caught my hound. And every time I come here, where matey boy is to my right, there's always someone fishing in that spot. I didn't want to get, I could have gone halfway up again to him, but I don't like encroaching on people when the beach is empty because, you know, everyone wants their own bit of space, don't they? If it was a busy day, you have to get in where you can get in, don't you? Right, I'll bring you back. Hopefully we'll have some action. So action, action. Hopefully we'll get a fish soon. Nothing on that but a little bit of weed. Nothing major. It's been quite a good day really. Beautiful weather, sun, cloud structures, fantastic. Tiny bit of weed. Can't moon at that. Right, well that's hermit crab and uh, squid. Next time, Keith, next time we go to uh, get some bait together and fish together, I'll buy the hermit crab next time because uh, after taking that out, it had to be used because it weren't looking good. And uh, if you take hermit crab out and you don't use it on that session, freeze it, Next time you bring it out, the bodies ain't the same. Bodies aren't the same. They're like getting small. So, I don't even think I'm going to use any more of the hermit crab. I think I'm going to ditch it in the sea and go straight onto the crab. 
All the learning curve, isn't it? Anyhow. That's the rods all out again, refreshed. And uh, battery in my pocket, so I've got a brand new battery. But yeah, it is quiet. It's not hard work, it's quite leisurely fishing. Um, we'll see. Yeah, hard work as in there's no fish about. Now, that ain't hard work, is it? But it's hard work. Well, you know what I mean. It's just a phrase we use, isn't it? Got another boat steaming across the water. Um, yeah, what is it to say? I've changed the rubber on that reel because it broke. Um, I've got it in my pocket. And no, you can't glue it. That's it, it's knackered. So I've got a new one on. That has been on the reel since last year. So they last for ages. You just got to put rounded hook, cut it out of a hole punch in the four corners and then cut it out. And because the corners are round, they don't tear or they only tear if you really yank it. A lot stronger. I've not had a problem. That boot looks like an old one. Looks like something from Mad Max. Well, I'm watching these rods, nothing's happening. I'd like it to. We've got a crab out there now, hermit crab. It's got its claws and feet on it and everything. It should smell, shouldn't it? Wrapped up in a bit of squid. So let's hope a ray or a hound gets it, if there's any out there. The water hasn't got much color in it because they're small tides as well. So the tides aren't getting to the cliffs. Possibly could have fished at Hillston today. But, it's the way it is, isn't it? Short walk here, that's why I like it. Uh, shan't come here all the time, but then again, it is a beach and a cliff and water. You know, same as the rest of the coast. It, the cliff just gets taller or shorter, and that's it. Or, if you go in other places, there'll be concrete behind you as a sea defence. But what a glorious day to be on it. I know I've said that, but it is nice. I can feel the warmth. I can feel the warmth from the sun. It's just nice being there. I mean, if I catch, it's a bonus. And you'll not know, will you? Because I could pull in on the last cast, reeling, couldn't I? So you need to stop along and watch it. And then it'll make my 35 minutes go into 38, won't it, if you do that. And then YouTube will think, oh, people are watching him. I think that's some sort of lifeboat. You know them lifeboats where they sit on it and ride it? It's, that's what it is, but it looks, from here, antiquated. Like something out of Mad Max. Next rod to come in will be the sniper rod. Um, I shall probably put a lug worm on that and some... Do you know what? I might actually put on some bluey. I've got quite good hooks on there. So I might put a, some bluey on. I've got bluey. I'll cut some slivers of bluey and put them on. It's in short. It's in the colour. There is colour just in front of me. I'll put it in that. He had a ray. There must be another one for Vern. See you in a bit. See, you could be here with me now, couldn't you? And you could bring me a better sandwich than what I've just eaten. Do you know what I mean? I'll pay you. What sort of sandwich could I eat now? I could eat a sausage sandwich, a bacon sandwich, but I think I prefer sausage because it's got more structural goodness in it to fill you up. Mind you, apparently, if you get a sausage in a uh, hospital, it can give you cancer. So I don't know how that work out. They must burn them. Reel this in, change the bait, we're sticking some uh, bluey on next, but 
Gotta keep changing the baits regular. Tide's going out now. Nothing on it. He's just reeled in. I thought he had a fish, but I don't think he has. I'll get this baited up and I'll bring you back for the chuck out. Well, that's that out. Got two tail ends of a bluey. Um, yeah, that's what I've got on it. Uh, I cut one down, down the belly side of it, underneath, you know, and lashed that on. And the other one I put through twice and then lashed a bit on at the end to try two different ways of hooking it on. And I prefer the second one because it was less work. I don't know if you can see them windmills out there. You know, them windmills that generate electricity. Uh, probably about 30 of them out there. Well, hang on, let's count them, shall we? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 34 that I can see but as they go further out they're darker but there's about three going round what's going on Greta hey eh? what's going on all them bloody electric bloody power stations out there called windmills made out of fiberglass that only last 20 years and then have to be buried in the ground because you can't recycle them have to be started by a diesel generator yeah there's only three going round mate I mean God almighty, have a word with someone, will you?
well, nothing on that. Bait is still on. Right, let's just see if I'm in focus. Well, in the frame. Yeah. Right, let's get this baited up. to go on, so I'll put that on now. Get this cast today. Right, let's get you, uh, let's get it in shot. Well, we'll dip past cast the rear because it's running the other way now. And I can, uh, yeah, I can do that there. That's brilliant. So we've got crab and squid on this. Proper crab. That was a bit rough and ready, that cast, but it's out there. Went straight, probably 10, five yards, eight yards to the left, but it's out there. I think I'll get another crab and squid bait ready and uh, for the next cast. I think the chap that was here when I first come here is now Gilwin. He's uh, putting his gear away. Not these first two, the person after them. There's only three down there and one of them's going them. So uh, that says it all, doesn't it? It's a bit like the bloke in the last session. Well, yesterday's video, because this is Thursday today. You know where I had the rant about the clip. 
Well, he went. I think I'd been here about an hour, hour and a half, and he went, and uh, I never caught anything. So they know, these locals know. But you never know. You can't catch sat in the van driving them, can I? So I might as well stop there for a bit longer. Time is 15.46. So it's another 20 minutes, and that's two hours after high water. Tide hadn't really gone out far. It's only dropped about two metres as the beach should go down because a low high water mark is a high water, high low water mark. So the water stays in for longer. You can fish longer, you know. Well, you can fish it all the way out, can't you? You know what it's like on the beach. It's not a river, is it? Where you got mud between you. But, oh, I've got a bumblebee on my box. Sat on my box he is. Well, as long as he don't jump on me and sting me. It'll be all right. Well, what can I say? I'm gonna get another bait ready. And then I'm gonna reel in my flapper rig because the uh, bluey ain't doing any good. So, what I shall do is, what I shall do is make another squid and crab bait up, pull the sniper rod in, put a smaller hooked rig on, flapper rig, stick some worm and tip it off with some squid and let's hope there's a flatfish out there. See you in a bit. Well, there it is with the bait on. Bait's still on, hooks are still showing, but there's no, uh, there's no rays out there to take that, which is a shame, really. He caught a ray close in. So I'll get this changed. I shall get this changed, and what I'll do is, I'll uh, put the small flapper rig on, lug and tip with squid, tiny hooks, see if we've got something out there. Last grasp, isn't it? Maybe not the last cast, but we're, we're clutching at straws now. Well, it might be too far, but it should be all right. Yeah, the two people, I got it wrong. Because I sometimes do. Matey boy who was there when I come here, was still there. The two that were in between are now climbing up the cliff, as you can see. Bit of hands and knees up that one. The one I'm going to go up, I just walk up. Well, I don't. I have to get on my hands and knees and I have to get my crampons on and everything. It's terrible, eh? Absolutely terrible. Oh, seagulls are flying down the beach. Hopefully they'll come and clear up all my fish and stuff. I chuck my fish around because seagulls come in and they, they watch you. They know what you're doing. They aren't stupid. And, uh, yeah. We'll come and clear it all up. Well, that next tide is bigger, it'll just wash it off. Seagull there, look. He knows they'll come back here when I'm gone. Because it's easy food. Plus, if you chuck it around, the flies go on it and leave me alone. Now, when I first come here, there was flies all over. It was like I pooed my pants. And... Uh, yeah, flies go to the bits of food and stuff because they can smell it, can't they? They've got a supernatural smell, haven't they, flies? Yeah, look, I told you. Down there, you won't be able to see it, but there's a seagull down there. He's 
flown in to exactly where those fishermen were and he's now picking up the bait that's there so yeah here he comes look he's now coming in there's one on the ground there's two of them and they'll just go around and polish it all off so and that's what i do just chuck it about i'm gonna start chucking it underneath my tripod because then it's all in one spot for the birds but always remember cut the bait elastic off don't leave the bait elastic on because they can't um digest that can they and i'm sure it'll just poop out of the bum but and i could tell you a story about that which would prove it but i'm not gonna you have to put it in the comments if you want to oh look at that me tops cut bloody hell this these tops i love these tops yeah they're they're sometimes a little bit warm but they do wick the sweat away but winter time they keep you warm it's an extra layer and summertime it stops me from burning so i don't have to put so much suntan oil on but they don't make them anymore I found out that they were being discontinued and I went on eBay and everywhere and bought bought what I can. I think I've got three or four of these black ones and I've got two blue, but I'm not keen on the blue. I think black's more slimming, do you know what I mean? Blue in, I've seen me in a blue t-shirt eating an ice cream. Shocking. It's absolutely gorgeous there. I know I've said it. But what's the point of going home? You might as well fish it. I might as well fish it down another hour at least. I've got worm, bloody good worms. I've got them worms off Scott. And uh, yeah, now they're cracking. They've got, actually, the black lug has actually got some um, structure on the inside. Do you know what I mean? It ain't just a bit of floppy skin. So it's actually, they're actually quite good worms. I think some people squeeze too much of the guts out. And if you can freeze them, why, why squeeze the guts out? I don't understand it. All the stuff you squeeze out of them is flavour, isn't it, I would have thought. Obviously there's a reason for it, or else people wouldn't do it, would they? But I think some people squeeze too much out and you end up with just like a skinny sausage skin with nothing inside it. It's rubbish. But those worms are good. Tipped off with squid. Casted about 35 yards out. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a little flatfish. Nothing on that.
what he's doing. Bloody spiders everywhere. checking if I've got any undersized bass. <laughs> but a chance would be a fine thing. What's he doing? Is there someone out there? I can't see nothing. Matey boy to the right of me is packing up. Right, let's get this car to the boat. Well, that was a little bit of excitement, wasn't it? Spiders everywhere on the cobwebs, you know the sort. It's uh, all on your face, getting everywhere on your fishing line. Be everywhere, wouldn't it? He must just be practicing, isn't he? So, uh, yeah, got crab out on that. Let's get in the sun, shall we? Then it'll lighten this pretty face up, you see. You might as well see me in my best, haven't you, with a bit of sun. Do you know that stick is still on the beach from the other week? I'm going to have to take you over and show you now, because you might not believe me. There's no one in the water anyhow. He's just practicing, isn't he? Right, remember that stick that I pulled out and I said it was a branch? And then John Spolton laughed at me and said it's a stick. Well, it is a stick, but there was a lot of drag on it. But look at this, it's still air, look. How about that? It's me eagle eyes, eh? Look at him. Someone ain't got hurt on the fields, like a farmer. Yeah, he's landing. I'm pleased he didn't land on the beach. Christ almighty. That would have been a bit of grit blasting, wouldn't it, eh? Yeah, matey boy's going up the cliff, look. That's the get down that me and Keith went up. But yeah. Yeah, so it's landed on the cliff, so perhaps someone's in harm and they've 
sent the Coast Guard out to to help. So they're all right. Don't wish anything untoward, do you? Not really. Oh, it's one of them days, I think. Um, he's caught a ray, but he's gone now. I think that's the last cast for me. I could stay here until it's low water and it's getting dark, but I don't want to. It is 23 minutes past four. So, He's now taken off. Look. No. There we go. Perhaps it's just practicing. Perhaps there's no one at harm and he's just done a loop around a few times and uh, land and take off. But yeah, that was something to watch. I don't think it makes up for uh, no fish. Not that that's right exciting, but I mean, you watch the videos because I'm a fisherman. Or am I a fisher them? Or am I a fisher person? I think I'm a fisherman. And uh, yeah, none of that though, is there? But I have tried. I have tried so hard for you, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I've got a seagull down there, sat where those two chaps were fishing, and he keeps looking over there. And I've picked up all my bait and chucked it under the tripod. If I see any more, I'll chuck it there. But I will chuck some more bait out, because those uh, hermit crabs, they can go. They've had the day. You want to take them out, a hermit crab, and you want to use the whole pack. But that's quite expensive, hermit crab. It's like eight pound for five. Um, you can buy peeler crab for four pound to five pound for peelers. You get four or five in a pack. I suppose there's not much difference really, but hermit crabs, they're, they're all claws and feet and a little bit on the back, you know, which is uh, what they pull out of the shell, don't they? I wouldn't, if I was a bait collector, I wouldn't get hermit crabs. I think they're too pretty. I'd not, I'd not make any money, would I? Yeah, but I, and I don't agree with hermit crabs. Leave them in the water and let them. Well, I don't know where they come from. They obviously don't come from around here. Oh, I think I might leave his hat off now. Sun's behind the clouds for a bit. That's what I'll do. So that seagull, I think matey boy's packing up now as well. No, he ain't. He might not be far off. Ray's gone now. Well, that's, I've got on the big rods now. Yeah, let's put you on the rods. Who wants to look at my face, eh? Who wants to look at my face? You'll just get jealous, eh? My chiselled looks, you know. Chiselled out of granite with my jawline. My belly's out of jelly, probably strawberry or blancmange. Anyhow, let's get back onto serious things. On them two Kenzakis, 13 foot six, I think they are. Could be 13 foot four. Anyhow, they're not the 14 foot ones, they only do two. Brilliant rods. Absolutely brilliant. Love them to bits. But I've got squid and crab on the right hand one. And on the left hand one, I've got squid, crab, wrapped. And then I've put a black lug on the outside. So when the crab runs out of scent, the black lug hopefully will carry on giving out scent. Um, and on the flapper rig, on the sniper rod, I've got 
small hooks probably size four and they are black lug tip with squid i've done everything i can do to catch a fish and it's not happened this coast i bet you will fish its head off at night time in the dark or on a bigger tide i've got a, I've got a fly on it go on bugger off because you'll you'll ruin my video go on go on and uh you know i might have to put some hay fever drops in or if they're bigger tides and there's some color in the water then obviously it'll fish again so i've learned quite a bit today about the structure and the clarity of the water and why in my opinion and i don't think i'm far wrong and it's not just that end of the beach and that end of the beach where you see the waves hitting the cliffs it'll be all the way along it's so all the way round the corner and up it'll be hitting them so there's loads of clay get washed out into the water you see and with these small tides that ain't happening so i should have come at night time can't do that well i can do it'd have been a late night bloody flies come back flies and spiders on spider webs now anyhow what I'll do is, I'll bring you back when I reel these in because they are the last cast and this will be once I reel these three rods in. So it's three rods to do. Don't leave yet. Keep air, keep watching. No rants this week. You can only rant when you got something to rant about, can't you? You know, you can't rant for the sake of ranting because it just doesn't, it's not right, is it? It becomes false. Let's get this way because I keep forgetting about that bloody spider webs. If you could believe me, if you could understand what I'm saying to you with these spider webs, it's like I'm a post and they're just attaching to me. Yeah, I keep on going that side because I'm right handed, don't I? And uh, the sun's up there and believe it or not, that sun just lights my face up and shows me chiseled looks again, you see? Well, uh, I'm gonna have to turn it off because there'll be too many people getting excited. So I'll see you in a bit. These flies and spiders are doing me head in, I can't cope anymore. Nothing on that. That's the sniper rod done. I'm gonna get that put away now. We got the weed back, the same crappy red slimy weed we had before, and me baits are gone. So, uh, yeah. I'll we'll get this put away and we'll bring in the other two rods. Still a beautiful day. Can't knock it. Right, let's get this uh, right hand rod in which is the first rod I chucked out, so. Just squid and crab on this. I tell you, the flies and the spiders are doing me head in. I've got spider webs all over my face all the time, back of my neck, it feels horrible. I'm not bothered about the spiders, it's just it's always touching you. I've got a load of seagulls and crow down there, waiting to get heads to have a, have a feast. I've got some squid heads I'm going to chuck out as well. Just a dab would be nice.
weed seems to be close in but um nothing on that it's got two people walking a dog down there that was what was right down the bottom of the beach was these two people so that's that rod i'll put that rod away and then shortly we'll reel in the last rod which haven't been out long but so one of them days blank catch blank it's just the way it is isn't it but we've done the 10 months of catching and uh far two days i'd like to be correct but we've done 10 to 10 months virtually and uh, you've got to give me some credit of uh catching and it's just the way it is isn't it so it is a relief to actually just come here be in the environment and fish and uh, not worry about catching because you've got a run going that you want to keep um fantastic run things come to an end though don't they so i ain't fussed i just enjoyed today coming here fishing and uh you know but we ain't caught nothing now we see so. but it's been an enjoyable day catching is a bonus isn't it we all say that don't we when we don't catch but seriously i've really enjoyed myself so i'll get this rod put away and then uh bring you back for reeling in the last one right well let's get this reeled in spiders have died down now a little bit so but it's nothing happening is it Well, what can I say? Uh, it's a blank. What a cracking day I've had there. You know, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. I've had a lot of smooth for like 10 months, so you got to take the rough with it, haven't you? We caught in the last session, we're blank today. Next session's another day, another tide, and hopefully, with lessons learnt today, might just pick i can't pick tides i've got to get some videos done so yeah matey boy down there i don't think he's caught anything he's now leaving i've just got this one rod to take apart and that'll be me done we haven't caught anything today it's been a blank um if you've got this far i expect you've already subscribed but you know what i'm gonna say click the subscribe button ring the bell and uh if you don't want to thank you for it and you got this far thank you for the view because it'll help the algorithm so yeah it's what it is i've enjoyed today it's been a lovely day these spiders have done the head in but the wind's picked up now and the flies have gone when this wind's there the little tiny flies bugger off so um yeah it's been good we've had the excitement with the helicopter seagulls are now twittering because they now know he's going and then I'll be going and they'll be feeding. I'm gonna chuck a load of squid heads down there. They'll eat them. And that's it. This has been on the Holdness Coast. It's been, uh, it's been enjoyable. So what else is there to say? 
hopefully I've kept you amused a bit with having a bit of a rattle on, a bit of a marble. So, uh, yeah, no fish for those that like the fish, but those that like to air me marble on, there's been a bit of marbling, so we've had a marble together. So, next time you'll see me, I'll either be in the river. If I go to the river, I'm gonna have a cook up, because Andrew Jones said, have a cook up, and it just twigged to me. And I thought, well, something different, wasn't it? Flounder, hopefully, fingers crossed, in a cook up. Or we'll be on a beach somewhere, probably this coast when the tides get bigger or a nighttime tide. We'll just have to mix it up a bit, won't we? But I've got to get the videos in. So, boo, what I'm gonna say to you now, before I said something else, is I'll see you anon. I'll get this pulled off super quick time I'm gonna have to turn it off because there'll be too many people getting excited so I'll see you in a bit 